At just 27, French mathematician Jean-Pierre Serre didn't just win the Fields Medal. In 1954, he became the youngest person in history to earn the highest honor in mathematics. But what were the actual achievements that set a record that still stands today? And, uh, there were things that people were not at, at all able to compute. It was really terrible. And then uh, it took some technique to make the idea work, but when it worked, it gave a lot of things. So, and I got essentially my Fields Medal for that. Yes. His genius work that connected three distinct fields of mathematics, geometry, algebra, and topology, that once seemed worlds apart. Serre introduced powerful new tools to study the shapes of mathematical spaces using algebra, giving birth to what we now call algebraic topology. His groundbreaking work didn't stop at pure math. It catalyzed a revolution in physics, enabling advances in string theory and quantum field theory, helping physicists understand the structure of space-time. His works influenced computer science, engineering, robotics, and inspired the very algorithms that drive modern data science. He worked relentlessly, and the world duly recognized his genius, honoring him with virtually every major award a mathematician can imagine. But a burning question arises. Where did this revolutionary clarity come from that reshaped sciences far beyond mathematics? The answer lies in his early life and disciplined journey of his early education and core research. Jean-Pierre Serre was born in 1926 in a quiet village in southern France. Raised by pharmacist parents, his childhood home full of chemistry books first sparked his interest in science. He famously said he chose mathematics because it was clear and free of nonsense. That intellectual rigor became his compass throughout his life. He went on to study at the prestigious École Normale Supérieure ENS, in Paris, where his genius quickly stood out. At just 23, he completed his PhD under Henri Carton, one of the great pioneers of modern topology. His thesis, Singular Homology of Fiber Spaces, built elegant bridges between topology and algebra. Ideas so deep and original that just four years later, they would make him the youngest Fields medalist in history. In his doctoral thesis, Serre developed new methods in homotopy theory and homology of fiber spaces, providing algebraic tools to describe the continuous deformations of shapes. This was the foundation of algebraic topology, and it quickly reshaped modern mathematics. Serre's early work, especially on sheaf cohomology, gave mathematicians X-ray vision. Before Serre, mathematicians often studied objects piece by piece. It was like trying to understand a giant city by only looking at one house at a time. Serre's sheaves provided a way to stitch all those local pieces together, like a jigsaw puzzle, allowing them to see the global structure. It was revolutionary. This wasn't just a neat trick. Sheaf theory became a fundamental tool a universal language that bridged seemingly disparate fields like algebraic geometry, complex analysis, and topology. It was the Rosetta Stone that allowed mathematicians to communicate and solve problems across boundaries that previously seemed impassable. But Serre never stood still. After transforming topology, he pivoted to number theory studying how his geometric and algebraic ideas could help understand the mysterious patterns of prime numbers and Galois groups. His work on Galois representations, local fields and modular forms connected geometry, algebra, and arithmetic in entirely new ways, bridges that remain central to modern mathematics including the proof of Fermat's last theorem decades later. Over the decades, Jean-Pierre Serre's brilliance earned him nearly every major honor in mathematics. After first capturing global attention with the Fields Medal in 1954, the accolades flowed continuously. For his wide-ranging impact, 
He was recognized internationally as a form MRS in 1974 and received France's highest scientific honor, the CNRS Gold Medal in 1987, further demonstrating his unparalleled influence. He won the Balzon Prize in 1985, followed by the Steele Prize in 1995 for his famous clear and elegant mathematical writing. He then claimed two of the most prestigious lifetime awards, the Wolf Prize in Mathematics in 2000, and finally the inaugural Abel Prize in 2003, cementing his status as one of the most decorated mathematicians in history. Even at 99 years old, Jean-Pierre Serre remains a living testament to the power of human curiosity and intellectual rigor. His sheer volume of work and ability to see connections where others saw walls are his true legacy. He is not just the youngest Fields medalist, he is a foundational architect of modern pure mathematics. Serre didn't just master existing mathematical fields, he fused them, giving future generations a universal toolkit to tackle the most complex problems in the universe, from the structure of subatomic particles to the architecture of the cosmos. Though retired from teaching, his vision continues to guide research across physics, computer science, and every corner of the mathematical landscape. And that, in the clear and elegant language of Jean-Pierre Serre himself, is a genius that remains unmatched. This is awards where the world's greatest minds live forever. Don't just watch history, be inspired by it. Thanks for being with Awards. Subscribe to know more about international award winners and unsung heroes behind peace, science, and humanity.